I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to look at some great bargains on footwear, primarily leather boots, but also some shoes. I was needing some leather boots primarily, and so I started shopping around, and first I went to Dillard's, and everything was over $100 a pair. And you know, if I absolutely love it, I'll spend that, but mostly I don't want to spend that. So then I went to DFW, Designer Footwear, I think it is, to see what I could find there. And unfortunately, many of their boots were not leather, and I do not like non-leather shoes. And the leather boots that they had, even for the ankle boots, were up around $79, $89, $99, plus a little, minus a little. So I wasn't totally satisfied there either. And amazingly enough, we got a new Steinmart here in our town. And we'd had a Steinmart years ago, and it was really wonderful back then. And it really was designer brands, and it was great. But it closed, unfortunately. And so we got this new Steinmart, and I thought, well, I'll check it out. And I have to admit, I wasn't that jazzed about the clothes at Steinmart. I thought they looked a little bit cheapy. You know, they had some good designer names, but it was almost like the designers had created a cheaper line for the Steinmart stores. Most of those clothes I just really didn't like. And I was about to leave and I thought, well, heck, I'll just go check out their shoes. You know, they probably won't be very good, I thought. Well, I went back to the shoe area and I was blown away by the quality back there. Not only were most of the shoes and boots leather, you know, some weren't, but most of them were. They were also great designer names and they looked good quality, not just like some designer had done some inferior goods and slapped his or her name on it. So I'll go ahead and show you my shoe haul that I got. Now I got all of these about a week ago and I have worn some of them and I've worn these actually and I've taken them out of the box but I always leave them with their stuffing in there because I think that helps them keep their shape more. These are Nine West and they're leather and they have that chunky heel and I just like the way they've just got a really sleek design and I really like the pointy toes because I think that just looks a little richer and just a little more style current, especially when you've got the chunky toe here, you really don't want a round toe here. The pointy toe just elongates your foot and makes everything look a little more graceful. And these were very reasonable. I'll put links down below. Those were boots for casual. Now I also needed some boots for business. And so I got these boots and they are Anne Klein and they were at Steinmart and they're hundred percent leather. I don't believe the sole is. I think the sole is plastic, but it is leather and it has the little gold detail, which I really like the gold. I think the gold is really pretty and it's just nice and sleek and you can tell that it's good quality leather and it has the gripping sole, which I really like that too, because sometimes even though I don't like to wear these sorts of shoes, you know, in snowy weather, sometimes we can have a little bit of snow on the ground here in Kansas. But that's a look at those, and I thought they would be really, really nice for business. I also have some slacks that are a little bit longer, so I really wanted something that was a little more high-heeled. And so these don't have the chunky heel, but they do have the nice long wooden heel. They're 100% leather, and they have silver hardware. I just think, again, that they have the nice sleek shape, and they really have a nice pointed toe, which I really like. Now, I had been wanting these for a long time. I had some in my closet from a couple of years ago, but the buckle on them was kind of broken, and so I had not been wearing them. But these are over-the-calf boots. But they're over-the-calf boots, and they're Franco Sarto brand. They have the pointy toe, which I really like that, and the stacked heel, which I think looks really good with that pointy toe. And then it goes over the knee, actually, so they're really, really tall boots. They look like they're about three feet tall. They are leather on the front, and they have a suede back, and they look awesome with jeans or with leggings or just, you know, anything casual when you're running around town. I think I'll get a lot of use out of these. Now, the last things I have to show you are a couple of pairs of shoes and a belt, and these are not from Steinmart. They're from ThreadUp, which is a great website, and I'm going to be doing a video about ThreadUp because it is my new go-to in terms of finding great bargain clothes. They have very gently used clothes, many of them with the tags still on, and if you'd like to see that video, it's coming up soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but if you're not a subscriber, just go ahead and subscribe, and when you click that little bell, you'll get notification of that and all my future videos. Well, these are a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I got them from the ThreadUp website, and they're that Inc. International Concepts brand, which I've never had their shoes, but I really like their brand for clothes. I'll put one of them down. These are just kind of fun shoes, and they were only $8. So, you know, they have a little bit of wear on the bottom, but not bad. They look brand new in terms of the animal print up here. You know, when I saw these, I thought, this is Lisa Lisa D1. And if you haven't seen her website, she's phenomenal, and she's beautiful, and she's glamorous. And I'm not sure I'm quite as glamorous as these shoes. I thought these would be fun to wear for a change with an all black or an all brown outfit, just with a little pop here. And also I liked it because although they look extremely high and they aren't low, they do have the platform here, which makes this a lot more wearable. 
and they're actually very comfortable. I have not worn them yet, but in trying them on, I was very surprised. Now my last pair of shoes, I actually showed these in the thread up video. So if you see that video, you'll see these again, but these are Mark Fisher brand shoes and they were on super sale, I think, on the thread up website for like $6 and they are absolutely brand new. And Mark Fisher is a very good brand. And I have never had any of these little mules before and I thought I would give them a try. I'm really not much one for flat shoes because I like that little bit of extra height that a heel gives you, but I just thought they were so cute and I've tried them on with some pants and some jeans and they really look pretty good. I'm kind of excited about this. This will be a nice casual option for shopping or going to the movies or just hanging around. Now the last little bargain I got is actually, it's a leather good, I guess, leather good, leather goods, but it is not shoes, it is a belt. And in fact, it's a Michael Kors belt and it's 100% leather and I can't imagine how expensive this must have been in the stores, but I paid $6 for it on the ThreadUp website. And I absolutely love these wide belts. I know that the real skinny ones are in right now and these wide ones are not as in, but I just really like these, especially under a jacket or a blazer, something like that. I just feel like they give you a little bit of polish and they kind of hold your waist in and make you look a little slimmer. Plus, I like the drama of something kind of sparkly at the waistline. And if you're not familiar with the ThreadUp website, I'm going to put the link below and I'm not sponsored by them by, by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, they don't know who I am, but I do love their website and I've been ordering a lot of clothes off there and obviously a few pairs of shoes. And if you use the link below to check them out, you get $10 of free merchandise and it's really a neat thing. It's refer a friend. So you get $10 free and I also get $10 free, which to me is a pretty darn good deal. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I'm going to be drawing a card from this card deck, the language of letting go. Let's see what God in the universe has in store for us today. Okay, here we go. Oh, I always get that one. Practicing gratitude. I always get that one. Oh, this is a good one. I haven't had accepting change, accepting change. Okay. Today I will be open to the process of change. Oh my ladies, we have to be. I will trust my higher power and believe that the place where I'll be dropped off is better than the place where I was picked up. Hmm. I know that change is necessary to take me wherever I need to go. Isn't that the truth, ladies? This is a great card. This change is a little bit scary for all of us. I know I am a big creature of habit and I really get used to the comfortable nature of just kind of going through the motions and doing the same things every day. But ladies, change is going to happen and it's up to us to change our mindset to a positive one, to accept and embrace change and know that like the card says, after the change where I'm dropped off will be better than where I started. Take care. See you next time.